Today is the International Zero Discrimination Day. In many countries, some people are treated differently, excluded from essential services or subjected to undue restrictions on how they live their lives. That is why the United Nations created the Zero Discrimination Day to help fight every form of discrimination, either in laws or policies, by upholding the right and fundamental freedom of every living man. The Joint United Nations Programme on HIV and AIDS on this day records the equal dignity and worth of every person as enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It also calls for action to change discriminatory laws and practices which are a significant barrier to access for access to health and other services. International Law and Human Rights Activist Henry Oguli joins me now via Skype to talk more on this. Thank you, Henry, for joining us. Now, does having these laws or policies really solve the problem of discrimination? Um, well, in part, yes, uh, but to a very good and large extent, or realistically, or practically, um, the answer would not be yes and it may not be no, but it depends on our human um, efforts or approach or the way we have chosen to realistically apply that. So the law is always the law, but um, somehow is different from the real, the real field of practice. So I, I guess the law, why the law is a platform, what we do, the practice is the reality. But you know that some discriminatory actions stem from uh, our belief system, our culture, and uh, the likes. So how then do we weave this together with the laws on the ground to achieve the desired result? Yeah, good. Again, uh, back to what I'm saying. Um, well, the world is evolving. The world we live in a, dyna a very very dynamic world in fact as it is so the world is so fast paced so i don't quite agree that it's going to do with our tradition or culture or whatever because if we don't do anything new or what has never been done before then like a, a very popular jurist once said then the world would move on while even the law and the society will stand still and that is bad, both for the law and the society. So it is down to our uh, method or approach of implementation and human consciousness to right a particular wrong. And once we get that online, then I think we'll be on the right track. You mentioned human consciousness to right a particular wrong, and certain persons don't even know that they are being discriminated against. which is very very unfortunate and again it is down the laws are always there everywhere you find out that some laws are even turned moribund or wasting in the shelves of our um lawmakers uh, library but except we choose to apply some of these things the law of discrimination is everywhere it's uh, part of united nations uh, declaration and uh, every government is aware but the priority the consciousness the effort we make to put this to practice is what creates the difference even in the western world or the advanced democracies you see that some people have to take to the streets sometimes mm -hmm. to protest before certain rights are implemented or right. not. so that is the up, the up aspect i personally would tie that to is enforcement or All right. implementation. You know. International law and human rights activist Henry Oguli, thank you for your time on the news.